Hello everyone. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. How's my dude doing? My mother's cap that she made for me. It's wool, so it's so warm. I always wear it. I th I need I need to change up my videos. I know my production value sucks. I'm wearing the same little poncho that I fucking love. I wash it. Okay, it needs to be washed. I'm I'm gonna be honest. We need to, we need to, it needs to, it's been a week or so. We need to wash it. But the point is, tomorrow is wash day. <laughs> tomorrow I'm taking a bath. Not that I've been lacking that, but I'm gonna take a bath and I'm gonna do some laundry and then I'm gonna start working on some paintings. And the people that were parked next to me are leaving. That's wonderful. This video is gonna be about something dear to my heart and something I love and I've been working with for the last 10 years or so since I stopped taking pain medication from my doctors that were prescribed to me by, you know, work comp doctors. These guys at their job is just to pimp out pills. They're not real doctors, like performing surgery or something. Anyway, hope you can, hopefully you can't hear the car next to me, but it's kind of loud. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to speak about medical marijuana really quick. I mean, I can do the history of my experience with it my whole life. California, Santa Cruz, hippie parents, go figure, right? But anyway, and, but I did quit for a long time and then like raising my son and everything and then hurt myself and went through that BS with all their pain pills and finally, you know, I just got, after they told me to take a piss test because they wanted to make sure I was taking the pills, I was done. I was like, I'm done with you people. So I went and got a prescription medication for marijuana and the first thing I got was called um, Tangi. It's a derivative of Tangerine Dream, I think, I'm not sure. But Tangi itself is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's sativa. It's. I'm highly allergic to it, as oddly enough. But it's usually like the outside. If like if it gets on my skin, it'll kind of rash it up, or and I'll sneeze while I'm breaking it up if I'm gonna put it in a pipe or something. But it doesn't bother me when I smoke it. But and it's actually my favorite because it helps me. It's really great with it puts me in a great mood for one thing, and then it also. It makes me and my creativity just blow up. I can really just, it just, I don't know, it just, my brain tingles. It's like, yeah, it, I go. And that's, that's the secret to my success. If you look up my videos on Facebook um, under Robert Keith, by the way, all my video, all my, all my paintings are chronological. Like the, if you go down the list on my feed, literally the first painting I did and I, and I posted it and then I do another painting and post it. So I, you could see the progression of my painting, which was pretty awesome. That was the only thing I loved about Facebook, was I was able to document all that. And, but it got really bad, so I couldn't download videos or anything. So I had to stop. And now I'm just doing YouTube, and, oh, and that's fun. Anyway, so yeah. So my experience has been amazing. It's blown up my art, and it's made me feel confident about my art to the point where I'm literally selling it. I'm out on the road just hanging art from my car, and, and I'm surviving barely. <laughs> but it's still, you know what I mean? I'm free. I don't have alarm clocks, I don't have bosses, anybody tell me bullshit. But anyways, I'm going to just go into it real quick. This is Sunny D. I can't really show you. It's so amazing. This is basically a, a crossover. It's like a the kid, if like Tangi and something else were crossed, and this is Sunny D's like child. Oh my God, so amazing. It smells like sunshine. It's, it's just awesome. It's hard to explain unless you really try it. It's a sativa. It's daytime weed, so I can smoke this all day and not feel drowsy, not feel like taking a nap, which is amazing. And this is 420, by the way. Happy 420. And everything's there. Today is a day to buy weed. If you're poor like me and you you want to stretch your money out a little bit, like I said, these this was cheap today. God bless, right? Normally it'd be expensive. So today's the day to go in and get some swag too, if you can. Some people. I didn't get a lot of swag. I was you're, normally like grows and stuff they'll throw out like you know a joint in a bag or something any of that kind of thing to promote their brand and just they're slack they're slacking anyway and this is called lavender it's it's a it's indica and i bought some so i could go to sleep and it, this stuff lavender it sounds weird but it's an amazing cross so I, don't know, I don't know what these guys are doing in the labs but they're making some really amazing you know crosses and they're trying to get rid of some stuff like I was talking to a guy and they're talking about how that used to be really skunky smell when you were kids. I mean, cops would bust you every time because you just stunk like it. You know, you couldn't, you have like three bags, right? Anyways, and they tried to breed that out to, like, to where it was extinct. And now they're trying to bring it back because, you know, now that it's legal, it's not like a big fucking deal. 
<clears throat> but anyway, it you know it's like I said, the only problem I think I have with it is the smoking of it, and that's just the cheapest way for me. There's little gummies and little tablets. Now they got little gummy tablets you can buy, 100 milligrams, and they have tangy and this other stuff, you know, other kinds. And all you gotta do, and what I say is always break it down. If they give you a tablet and say 100 milligrams, you break it, cut that into four pieces and try a little piece. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. You don't have to go full in. But it's important if you don't like smoking, there's alternatives. I'm just saying there's other ways besides pills. And medical marijuana is my way. And I love it. And I'm not looking back. I will never go back to a doctor for anything unless I need surgery. Other than that, yeah. Anyway, that's my little thing on 420. And God made weed. I'm just throwing that out there for anybody who's kind of like a, uh, yeah. He didn't make Oxycontin. Mm -mm. He didn't make Norcos. Mm -mm. He didn't make that crap. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy about marijuana. Cannabis, baby. Sativa is a good daytime. Remember that. If you want to go night-night, Indica. Anyway, I love you. I said, I'm such a flirt, especially when I'm stoned. Anyway, love you. Bye.